Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we're going to try to educate ourselves and you about eyewear and protecting your eyes while in the sun playing tennis. Stay tuned. All right, so I got Coach Rob with me here, and uh, I noticed that, well, for a long time, forever since I've known him, when we're on the court, he's always has his sunglasses on. Um, Coach Rob, you always wear your sunglasses, right? Anytime I go outside, the sunglasses are on. Winter or summer, huh? Winter, summer, for sure. Okay. Yep. Why do you do that? Uh, so as you can see, I have blue eyes and fair skin. And when the, um, uh, back in the day, I ended up having some eye surgery cause I had a growth going over my, uh, eye there that needed to be removed or it was going to start affecting my vision down the road. I don't remember the, 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 the big words that they were calling it since it's been a while, but basically when you're outside, you're dealing with wind, pollens, you know, all of those things, you itch your eye, all those things that. They tell you not to do, but uh, when you live outside, that's part of the deal. So um, I just, they were just like, don't go outside without your sunglasses on. And uh -huh. uh, even it helps on windy days. It keeps less wind from going uh, into my eye. And uh, now I have enough hair to need a hair dryer, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, as much as I can protect my eye from the sun and the wind, um, hopefully I won't be able to a repeat candidate because mm. a lot of times what they were saying was like surfers, outdoor workers, um, are candidates for that surgery. Um, but then a lot of times when you're younger, you end up maybe doing an outside job, but then you go into the inside job mm -hmm. and then you don't need the can you don't, you're not a candidate for having the surgery twice. But since my job was outside and still outside, um, I, I was at higher risk for being a repeat surgery contestant and I really didn't want to do, go oh, through that again. Wow. So that was no fun. Thank God for those glasses. Right. <laughs> yep. So since we are in the pollen season at the current moment, you know, glasses do a couple things for us as tennis players. It keeps um, pollen from going in. And if you have the right tennis glasses, it helps you focus on the ball a little bit more. Uh, takes out obviously the sun, the glare, so the UV, that, yeah, the UV rays that are all not good for your eyes either. Mm -hmm. And if you have the ones that are wrapped around a little bit more, you'll keep some of the wind out too. Exactly. So this time of the year, I tend to rub my eyes too, Don't do just that. because. Yeah. So just here's a um, tip for you guys: if you feel the urge to rub your eyes, don't because that will be the beginning of the end. If you start this, I, f I mean, to me, it feels like I just broke a seal and I let more in, and then I'm just rubbing the pollen on my eyeball to make it itch more. So fun tip for you guys, do not rub your eyes. Get some drops and don't get the cheap drops, okay? Visine ain't getting no red out, okay? Get the ones that are like, prescription grade okay it's i know it costs a little bit more but you or i will love you more for it later i promise you i learned the hard way i was like i, I spend on the vice i go like man i'm like pouring the whole thing in my eye washing the eye out and it's not doing anything i might as well just put a port a gallon of water water in my eye it didn't do anything all right so my friends at rudy project said we got the perfect thing for you you're in sport you're outside what if we can protect your eyes protect you from the harmful pollen the uv rays and have you focus on the tennis ball great <laughs> so i asked for this particular glass just because not only is it cool Very cool. It's going to give me a better look at the ball and take out the uh, 
harmful rays of the sun. And I know one of the questions I always got was at first, was like, hey, how do you play with your sunglasses on, like with the depth perception? And it mm -hmm. took a little bit to get used to it, but now I don't think I can play without them. But I think when I play with it, there is a depth perception thing. Right. With these, is not as bad. You know, it actually, with the depth perception for me, it actually makes me focus a little bit more on the ball and keeps me from bird watching. Good. Yeah. And I can tell just even sitting here, there's not a lot of light coming in through the sides, which mm -hmm. is good. Yeah. At least for my, for my eyes. So Rudy Project is one of those innovators of glasses. They specialize in... They specialize in cycling, and they've been around since like 1987. And these where were you in 1987? Sophomore, high school, probably class clown. <laughs> <laughs> so these glasses would have been perfect for me since, since I'm running from the teacher. Um, anyways, <laughs> so marathon runners wear this too. Not that I'm running a marathon. I'm probably more of a sprinter myself. <laughs> five, Short sprint? Five-yard dash, you know. Uh, <laughs> so in 1987, they were innovating um, eyewear. And cool. check that out. Made yeah. in Italy. Nice. Made in Italy. Yeah. Got a lot of, the frame is light, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a lot of venting holes in it. Yeah. So this particular glass is called the Trillix Plus, and I chose the the frame is Azor, Azor Matte, and the lens con color, excuse me, the lens color is Multi Laser Orange. I bet I can. I bet we can golf in this too. Sure. Oh yeah, huh? So, but let's go on the court and check it out. today look I'm looking right at the Sun and uh, it's actually kind of uh, muting it out a little bit here um, okay Coach Rob yeah you have yours on now I do I have the uh, Rudy projects on right what were the differences uh, these are much lighter than mine um, mine obviously are just what are comfortable to me fit my face wrap around but these are light the vision was great. Picked the ball up early. Um, yeah, really nice. I, would, I was. Would you continue wearing those? I would wear these. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. No, I liked how light they are. That was it sat easy. Like, didn't you don't feel like you're wearing sunglasses because they were so light on your head? Okay. How did it pick up the ball? Picked it up well. Picked it up early. Ball was crisp. Showed up big. So that was nice. Definitely. What about the, uh, you know, the way that. It uh, it was airy, you know, so it doesn't and and it has the anti fog in there too. Right, yeah, that was cool. Good design. Yeah, no, I. A lot of you guys ask me what are the best glasses out there, and you know, I would say this one. I mean, a lot of people, I've told a lot of people to get certain ones in the past, but there are so many more glasses out there that I don't know about. So I'm super glad that. These guys, the Rudy Project, reached out to me and said, hey, try our sports sunglasses. So I guess I found my new tennis glasses. So guys, check them out. It's called Rudy Project. Um, I'm going to put a link below if you guys want to check out their site and maybe pick one of these up. Okay? Man, I, can... I picked up the ball fast with these. It's like what you said. It wasn't. It wasn't like I was wearing anything. So 
Yeah, lightweight was for sure. Loving these. All right. Coach Rob, thank you for testing out the glasses with me. Sure. Um, yeah. We'll try to get you a pair. There we go. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.